it's been a long time since I could say that I enjoyed a deck almost as much as I love Thunder Dragon, but this deck is it. What's going on, you guys? Uh, Slim here to profile uh, version one of my Danger Grenmaju uh, deck profile. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love Grenmaju, the whole concept of it. Uh, the dangers are insane. The deck is insane. And, you know, I was playing Thunder Dragons for a really long time. I put it aside, you know, to learn more decks. This is one of the decks I picked up because I was just kind of attracted to how the deck played. And, you know, it's just the banished play style, the, you know, aggressiveness, the OTK potential of the deck, the rank gates all that stuff and we all know what happened to uh my baby colossus you know we we try to we try to think it didn't happen but we know it did so we uh we have another deck to fall back on i know you guys have been enjoying these deck profiles you guys are new here consider subscribing be sure to hit that notification bell you guys will be notified whenever i upload whenever i post new deck profiles and yeah uh we got a lot more deck profiles coming you guys uh we picked up a lot of deck cores we wanted to really just explore other decks in the format because you need to be open to every kind of deck whether it be a control deck an ftk deck a otk deck a build a board a break a board deck a going second deck everything kind of deck and yeah this is one of the decks i've really enjoyed and we'll get into it i think that this deck is really awesome i think it's still gonna be really good this format i think it's gonna be underrated a lot of these decks you'll see me profiling are very underrated but uh this is again one of my personal favorites so uh this is version one again it's very it will be very streamlined the thing with these deck profiles is i try to make them very streamlined for you guys so if you guys are new to the deck you are trying to build it uh this can kind of be like a skeleton to help you guys out and i do put a lot of thought into like the card choices i make and i do test them and you know the decks do change and they do evolve over time but uh, yeah. uh i absolutely love this deck so yeah of course the boss man of the deck three grand module days uh, this card is nuts uh plus 400 for every banish card you banish so many cards in this deck that this card just becomes huge and you one punch your opponent i've said it many times i'm so happy to have supers very easy to get in the ots pack thankfully i picked them all up in one day and i was super happy super juiced and i've been playing this deck for a while and playing super grand modules is awesome one thing that i tell you guys in every grand module profile this is not your win condition this is not always going to win you the game. You're going to have those games where it does win you the game. You're going to draw it. You're going to one-punch your opponent. You're going to win. And it's amazing. You get over problematic cards. You just win because they can't out it. But for all the games that that happens, you have plenty more games where the, the Grand Majus either get banished, you don't see them, and you just have to use your dangers and, you know, your rank gates and your, your you, the utility of your extra deck to win the, de to win the game. And, you know, that can be enough. This is just an extra uh, win con in the deck. But, again, it won't win you as many games as you think. Of course, the three Gizmek. This is honestly one of my favorite cards in the game. This card is nuts. Fairy Tale Snow just does so much. Uh, fuels Grand Maju like it's nobody's business. And I, I think my favorite thing about this card is the fact that you can summon it from hand. That is so huge. A lot of players get thrown off by that. You know, you're attacking and they think you don't have game. And then still in battle phase, you activate it from your hand. They always, they always check the graveyard. They don't see it in the graveyard, but you have it in hand. You can still drop it. And it's amazing. I, I absolutely love this card. One of the best cards uh, they've made in a really long time. Uh, this is a new addition to the deck. I played triple Gamma Seal. So the reason why I did this is mostly because of Spiral and any kind of build-a-board deck. So I was looking at how Spirals performed at the PPG, and I was like, okay, you know, their board is pretty scary. You know, you ki if you Kaiju the Sleeper, you Kaiju whatever, you can start to break the board. You have the potential to break it with Super Poly, the potential to break it with Dangers. Uh, the main thing is just to get rid of, you know, get rid of whatever the real problem is. It really depends on what version of the, the deck they're playing. Uh, you know, you need to deal with the Trigate, you need to deal with the, um, with the Sleeper, you need to deal with, you know, just whatever board they're making, the Appaloosa, etc. Like, it really just depends on what they're ending on. I know that the Extravagance build ends on something different, but uh, I like, I like, uh, Game of Steel a lot. Just being able to just drop this over any problematic monster in any matchup is great. This card is just really good in almost every matchup because you're going second deck. There's always going to be something that you can Kaiju, and I really like that. Also, it has synergy with, um, Trade In because it's level 8, so huge fan of that and this is actually the most questionable card in my deck i never thought i would say this those of you that have been watching my deck profiles know how much i love this card the problem with phantasmi is i don't know how to feel about it right now i don't know how good or how bad it is right now from testing it's been okay i'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's been absolutely phenomenal like it was when sky strikers were running rampant and salomon great were running rapid it hasn't been it's still good against salomon great don't get me wrong and it's still good against the spiral deck you know you'll be able to drop it hopefully before they get to that but loses depending on how they make it unless they make it 
Uh, I mean, usually I think I saw in the combo they usually make the Appaloosa for two and they do it like later on. I don't know if they go all the way for all four, but I'm pretty sure like you can just drop this, you know, you can fix your hand. And that's what I still like about it is you can still fix your hand. You can still, you know, draw the cards you need to break their board no matter how they build it. And that does help. I just didn't actually want to commit to three this time. That's why I chose the third Gamma Seal over the third Phantasme because a lot of times you can draw this as your sixth card and you just you just can't do anything like literally you can't do anything with it so uh yeah right now i don't know how to feel about it if you guys are playing good Maju or any deck how do you guys feel about phantasmia because it's just it's in a weird spot i know it's good against a lot of decks but it's also really bad against control decks it's so bad against alter guys sub terra all those decks like that don't link summon ever so yeah i don't know i love phantasmia to death but right now it's just it's in a weird position like i gotta be honest with you guys uh, onto the dangers, so onto the big guys, of course, the three Bigfoot and the three Thunderbird, these are your beaters, these cards are just, they're just so good, they're really just so good, I love the fact that they're just huge, I love the fact that they're level 8, and I mean, sometimes, you know, they get discarded, and usually it sucks, but a lot of times you can take a card with them, which is great, I think when you can one for one them, even when, the worst thing that can happen is them getting discarded off the reveal, but sometimes it just works, plus the synergy with trading is great, uh, trading these in, you know, you pop a card and you draw, that's pretty nice, so, I like these guys for sure. And then I have just two copies of Chubacabra and two copies of Ogopogo. So I cut these down. Originally, I was playing three copies of each. I felt that I was bricking a little bit with the three Chubacabra and three Ogopogo. I'll never forget, I had one game where I opened triple Ogopogo and I just really kind of just scratched my head and thought, you know, I could have just played two today, but I chose to play three and it completely bricked my hand. And, you know, I played out of that game, but yeah, it was just not, uh, it was not ideal whatsoever. Ogopogo, I love it because it sends response team, response team is an amazing card also really good synergy with the kaiju like you can literally bounce the kaiju back to your hand and the danger back to your hand and then kaiju the opponent again so it's another reason i wanted to play it but yeah ogopogo is fine at two chupacabra is fine at two i i thought about playing three tube just because i really do like how it can reborn a monster but again you draw too many of the same name danger and they get sniped you lose so hard that it's just it really sucks so that's why i chose to just go with the two two ratio for now again it might change as we go forward and then the last three are just the two jack and the one Nessie so I chose to still not play Sue Tanoko it just hasn't come up like yes I know it's another body but it doesn't do enough for the deck it does trigger Nibiru which is something people always point out I just really haven't been able to do much with it it didn't it, like yes I can get another body on board and yes I could link climb with it but I'd rather be summoning an eight off a of Jackalope's discard or searching an eight off Nessie's discard or searching whatever I need off Nessie's discard so to be honest I'm perfectly fine with this danger ratio there were no other dangers I wanted to play I'm not playing Dogman you guys already know my opinion on that card but yeah uh so far this danger lineup has been fine uh might try to give snake another chance but really hard to say but uh that's it for the monsters and then for the spells so of course this card is nuts this card is just amazing it doesn't matter if it gets ash if you have this in grand module grand is at four thousand. it's pretty nice and if they don't ash it i mean you just draw two more cards so it's ridiculous uh three trading because we play so many level eights with the addition of the gamma seals our level eights count went up pretty high so three trading is just amazing it just helps you see your cards, helps you, you know, dig and helps you just OTK your opponent because you're just going to keep drawing to get your big guys and then try to summon your big guys and just OTK them. So it's pretty nice. It's like our main draw engine right there. And then, okay, I don't have lightning storms yet. <laughs> Keyword yet, gonna be picking those cards up. I think that card's really amazing. Make sure you guys invest in it. I'm just letting you know. So here's the thing right now. So Lightning Storm is in a weird spot because I've talked to a couple of Grimaldi players and they're not sure how they feel about it. And this is the one problem with Lightning Storm. So while it is very, very strong, being able to clear all the back row is nuts going second. The problem with it is that, you know, realistically, you're only going to ever get to activate one copy unless by some miracle your opponent wipes your whole board. And usually you OTK them when that happens. That is the only issue with that card. The only other issue that could come up too is if you have to, if you have to at the end of your opponent's turn, just trigger the Gizmec in order to, you know, in order to start breaking their board or for whatever reason, and you have a face-up card, like you can't actually use it. So that is a problem. Uh, I'll put Cosmic Cyclone. Like most people would have said, well, why didn't you just play tw Twin Twister? I still like Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, if Cosmic Cyclone ends up staying in this deck because of Babel and because of banishing problematic cards. But again, I am going to test Lightning Storm. I feel that there is ways to make it work because at worst, even if we resolve one and we don't use it again, it can be discarded for a danger, then we just summon our danger, so it's fine. But yeah, these will be lightning storms, but uh, we have not picked up our set just yet. The set will come out, uh, I think it's uh, this week? Yeah, the set comes out this week, so hopefully we'll have them in future profiles. 
So I'm still playing the three super poly and the two mind control. I don't need to tell you why I love mind control. I love mind control. The end. One of my favorite spells. Shouldn't have gone to two. It's fine. It went to two. I'm okay with it. Um, super poly though. Uh, I had to go back on forth on how I felt about this card. So right now the only data we have is from the ppg and orcus you know just was not in high attendance uh the majority was spiral nine out of the top 16 was all spiral and super poly is good against spiral you are able to break some of the boards with mud dragon of the swamp you have other options too uh super poly is very strong uh the thing that i was noticing though is like you also have to account for decks like hero you need to account for decks that do still play darks if people are still playing orcus and i know some players still are uh sometimes you can catch them in super poly in uh the two darks so it does come up i also like it in this deck because we play so many darks that okay even if we don't super poly our opponent we can sometimes super poly ourselves and win the game right there in the you know in the battle phase so it's pretty crazy um again i don't know how strong this card will shape up to be in the format again since we don't have that much data but so far i've been fine with it it still helps break boards and if it's not good in matchups like guru or uh uh geist or whatever you are able to um you know side it out so there's an option but you can super poly uh guru if they get two earth monsters two, two earth guys on the field if they get a fiendus and a and a guru or a fiendus and an archer you can actually turn it into mud dragon so my dragon is actually getting a lot of mileage this time so i never thought i'd say that but yeah that card's good and then the power of one of that just are insane reborn response team and card destruction all these cards are broken i don't even need to explain it if you get this off with a kaiju it's insane you literally kaiju them twice which is ridiculous but yeah that's the main deck it's 41 cards i like i like 41 so i noticed 41 was doing better than 40 i know it sounds weird because it's a one card difference but uh sometimes i would fall short on the eight cards for gizmec and people have talked about that in another profile it's totally true when you have that extra card you're actually able to gizmec one last time so it's nice extra deck real quick with the rank eights of course dingirsu probably the most summoned one uh card is just insane and we finally got number 23 yeah uh, this card is great in the in the late game the uh no one really knows what it does it attacks directly pops a monster can negate the first activation this card is stupid like this card literally can just steal you a game because your opponent just doesn't realize okay the minute you activate something it automatically gets negated now granted that can work against you too so make sure you read the card and you know not to use anything because then you you got yourself negated which sucks 38 is staple 68 is staple these cards are both still really good uh if you're forced to go first sometimes ending on harbinger is fine uh, i like ending on sanofon against uh orcist against uh and pretty much any deck that just revolves in the graveyard uh super poly targets i got the double starving venom that's self-explanatory along with the violet chimera these are for the dark decks this is also for ourselves don't forget that it's for yourself and also the violet chimera is still for solomon great because that deck has still got representation uh the new guy is finally in here i can't even pronounce his name trith what is it? Trifio ver blah 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 big preta plant guy. So yeah, uh, takes three darks. Really good against hero. Believe it or not, heroes end on three darks. Bang! You just super poly away the whole board, and their game's like over because this can negate a summon from the extra deck too. Read this card. This card's nice. And uh, then yeah, Mud Dragon. Mud Dragon putting in work. I'm not even gonna lie. I never thought I would say that, but yeah, Mud Dragon's been putting in work. Uh, helps slowly break the spiral board. Hope helps against Guru, the weirdest of all decks. Like to play against and then just to, to super poly them is dumb. Like it actually can come up. So pretty cool. Its effect is pretty cool. Being able to take the attribute and then they can't do anything in this card. So it's pretty nice. Play this card for sure if you're playing super poly this format. Uh, links. Uh, we Witch still comes up for OTKs. Utility cards of Phoenix and Unicorn. That's self-explanatory. I still play the BLS because it comes up with mind control and stuff. Like, there's no reason not to play this. We can make it quite easily. Uh, Boral Sword. This card never comes up. I'm not even exaggerating. I have barely summoned this card. I usually just OTK by the natural way this deck plays. But when you when you have the option along with mind control too, you can steal the game very quickly. So, you have to play that. And then this card has been nuts too in testing. Uh, this card facilitates our deck. Like, the opponent punishes us for playing grand maju with this card so we punish our opponent while playing grand maju and yeah this and gizmec is game breaking but yeah uh that's it you guys that is version one of the danger uh danger grand maju deck profile i'd like to know what you guys think uh granted i know there are some changes i'm definitely going to be testing going forward this was just the first build that i've been using uh you know since the new ban list uh again once we get our uh lightning storm you know you'll see that in a lot more deck profiles and we're really going to talk about that card because for as good as that card is it does come with its own set of uh limitations i think doug made a really good point when he talked about that card like its limitations that it does have while it sounds so broken on paper
paper like you have to remember the things that come with it the problems that come with it and how a lot of times you might only ever resolve one and you would think okay one is enough i should win the game when i wipe all my opponent's back row but make sure you do and that's why i think this deck can utilize it a lot because any deck that can lightning storm all the back row and then just otk the opponent can definitely get mileage out of that card so i think it's great but yeah uh shout out to all the grand maju players shout out to the facebook group the grand maju duelist you guys are amazing uh you always are always there with good advice whenever anyone asks and you're always there with good lists and stuff to help us just get further and just you know really just show love for our little friend here who is just insane i'm so happy it's super but yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys enjoy be sure to smash that like button if you're trying to build this deck feel free to use my tcg player link it's in the description below uh, you guys already know the deal with that a uh, portion of what you spend goes back to the channel it helps me out and i do appreciate it but yeah i love this deck i absolutely love this deck and i'm gonna keep playing it in this new format we're just gonna see what it can do i feel like it's it could be good in every format going forward because build a, build a board decks are a thing but so are break a board decks and that's literally what grand maju does and you draw grand maju too you just one punch them and well it's game but yeah that's all i gotta say i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching